I'm now going to the market to get some sandals you know I love those Marseille sandals and some little gifts that I love giving people whenever I'm traveling I love to carry something small because you don't know you might meet a nice person and you don't have nothing to give them I actually love gifting so I'm going to buy some little stuff here and there that I'll be giving out to people when I meet them nice people that I'll meet out there so let me take you to the market this is a place where you're going to get the stuff for absolutely um, I can't say cheap but yeah if you're good in negotiating you can get them like for really a good price compared to when you get them in the malls or maybe at the Marseille market so let me bring you to this market Are finally in the market, so come to see. So, this is the section where they are making the Maasai shoes. So, you can see it's a whole industry. So, when you come here, you're most likely to get them for cheap <laughs> you at the factory now for your massage shoes so here we are All these are handmade. We just walked through the factory here. Yeah, so all the designs. Some when I get something for myself, yeah, they so just so colorful and nice. Maybe a pair or two. See everything. If you want some that you just slide your leg, that if you want one that you can wear like that. If you want ones the ones that you can tie they are here you tie at the back they even have those ones that are very long like these ones they go up the leg a bit so you wear and tight up your leg okay we're getting in the kenyan the kenyan okay yeah there we have it so introducing you to kenya your trademark you must always get this whenever you visit kenya you can get him something different. Let's keep it. Team Kenya. Team Kenya. Which one? This or this? So this is everything i got i got these slippers because they're easy to wear you don't have to tie um these ones i'll probably give them out as a gift these ones go all the way to the knee they call them the jesus sandals so you're gonna see this um these ones most of these ones are gonna be gifts of course i don't have my ears pierced so all the earrings are gifts uh of course all these are gonna be gifts i already have my kenyan flag all these are gifts uh yeah you don't go anywhere empty-handed so decided to bless we bless some people on the way so love this love this design lovely good morning good morning so i just received a call that i have a delivery i was still sleeping so let's step out and to go and find out what this delivery is this is a surprise to me because i don't remember expecting any delivery so come let's check this out oh it looks really good can you help me carry this it's so lovely wow i'm going to unbox this later so hi this is timothy here from Geek Solutions Limited and you have uh, 
an amazing delivery for the African tigress. We did her logo and um, this was a gift for her on 200,000 subscribers. Um, we did this gift uh, just to appreciate the great work that she is doing as a Kenyan ambassador out there. As you can see that the packaging is, um, is done on, um, on wood. Everything here is custom made. And I uh, would like to give you a shout out on your 200,000 subscribers. Keep on keeping our Kenyan flag uh, flying high. Thank you and have a nice time. I love, love, love this packaging. Let's see this. Oh my word. Woo. This is the best Masai Shuka ever. Ever. The best ever. Home is where my heart belongs. From Kenya to Zimbabwe. Ah, Timo must be one of those people who watch and follow me a lot. They know how much I love Zimbabwe. This is the best Maasai Shuka ever. And I don't know, he knew my color. I love yellow. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. Whew. Let's see what else we have here. Before I proceed, I just want to give a very special shout out to Geek Solutions Limited for this very thoughtful gift. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm truly appreciating it. So actually, if you want to gift somebody and you don't know what to exactly give them, Geek Solutions Limited has you covered. I know this is not sponsored, but I just had to. I'm going to leave a link in the description on how you can actually get them. I love my logo. Look at this. This is my logo. He actually made this logo for me. Very beautiful girl and the tigress herself. Just like my nails. <sighs> my passport holder. Where's my passport? I'm actually traveling soon. So look at this. Pure leather. We have some biscuits here. Highland speciality. As you can see, it has the same print as my Masai Shoka. Beautiful. I love this. Wow. Oh my goodness. He went all the way. Kenyan tea. Ketepa. Limited edition. Oh my goodness. I love it. What? Is this a blend of all the flavors? Let me see. Because this is too much, Timo. This is too sweet. Ooh, let me unbox it. Oh my goodness wow i've never even seen this type here this combination of all types of kenyan tea mint and black tea cinnamon caramel lemon ginger i'm gonna travel with this ah no jokes now this is my travel hoodie african tigress and this is what it looks like at the back. Oh, let me try it on. Just the right size for me. Whew. My passport, my first passport, second passport, but look at how the third one looks. So this case just comes in handy. I don't know what really went into this one. And I've tried cleaning it and it's not working and it's like literally new like not so many pages are used from this one because this these other ones are full 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 so it's okay it's found our home it's gonna be clean now
Well, so I'm um, finally at the city center. I'm here at Lonro House. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I'm going to meet one of my friends and then we'll be stepping out. Let's get in. There we go. Hey. <laughs> okay. Friend. Hi, Angie. Angie. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. We have our sports editor on location. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Hey. Welcome. Uh huh. And then this is where all the action happens. The live studio. All right. Awesome guests. <laughs> yourself to us because you've come here with so much hype and I absolutely adore <laughs> your energy. Uh, um, African Tigress on all social media platforms. I'm a travel content creator. Hey. Yeah, that's who I am. I love traveling. I've been to about 30 countries and yeah, just about to get into a whole new continent starting next week and I'll be away for like three years. Yeah! Yes. 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 We love that for you. So just yes. in case you're wondering, you're listening to the African Tigress. You're also listening to the Kenya Queen, aka A. aka <laughs> Achara. So how did you guys come to find one another? Uh we met some time ago at Africa Day, yeah. 2019. Super cool. Believe it or not. Uh-huh. And so I met this amazing sister that loves, you know, traveling across the continent and sharing Africa's narrative. So yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. So of course you guys would come together and like twerk with me. <laughs> <laughs> On the high No, really. I actually don't of even course. understand. Yes. And I don't even understand why twerking gets such a bad name. Because I'm like, it's literally <laughs> something. Ancestors across all continents. Mm -hmm. It's very healthy. It's a fantastic workout. <laughs> you can ask the Russians, by the way, who do that as like a proper workout and are dying to be a part of the scene and culture. But it's also something that we have been doing for centuries, centuries as human beings. I don't even think that it's necessarily just tied to Africans. It's just really associated to us. <laughs> so I'm so curious. Can we talk about like a few of the African countries that you have visited? West Africa, I've been to Nigeria, Ghana, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Cote d'Ivoire. That's in West Africa. Okay, six. Yeah, I've been to all East African countries, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi. I've been to Ethiopia, I've been to Egypt in North Africa, I've been to South Africa, Lesotho, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, um, Congo. <laughs> I'm running out of... What got you into this, AT? Uh, my passion, I think from being a child, I always loved to travel. I just wanted to travel. I always had that desire to just be out there and see what life is in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So what I'm really curious about is what brought you to this place where you were such a wonderluster. Because one of my hashtags is wonderlust one Jira. I absolutely adore travel. Um, so I'm curious as to what got you to that mindset, that place where you seem to be such a wonderluster. I just realized like when I'm in one place for so long, I feel so bored. 
and i watch a lot of videos a lot of movies and all that and i would i would like my mind would just want i'm such a daydreamer mm. i would my mind would wander and i would be mm. like i just want to be in this place <laughs> I get looks you. so beautiful i just want to be there and to feel the air these people are breathing mm. i just want to take a photo here mm. and i'm like i must so i had to look for various ways to travel so when i was a student there's some websites i discovered that i could get opportunities to travel that's so cool okay yeah. you were like a okay <laughs> okay you took you took opportunity into your own hands let's go yes yeah, so i would apply so i applied for a passport uh -huh. even before i ever had a chance to travel i used to tell my classmates i'm going to travel and new york was always in my dream i used to tell my classmates i'm going to new york and then believe you me sometimes the things that we say actually yes it's actualizing press. i believe in that angela believes in that as well yes. we've had many a conversation about that yeah. so freaking so yes. as much as i was telling my classmates there was no plan i didn't know how i was going to get to new york but a way just opened so there's this university that had students medgar evers college i in, know medgar evers it's a part of cuny i went to cuny city, city university of new york uh -huh. i went to hunter college i know medgar so they evers, have yes. a program where they have entrepreneurial students who come to kenya and all that so i connected with the dean they organized and well i was in new york and hey. i something i used to say i didn't have any connection i didn't know how it was going you to just happen. made it happen for yourself because you actualized it yeah you actualized it <laughs> Now, ain't that freaking cool? Y'all, if that ain't hype, I don't know what is. <laughs> Angie, before we cut back to the music, I would love to know just one country. Because Ange has has done quite a bit of traveling herself. And I know she spends at least about four to six months in Japan. Yes, I did some uh, study abroad when I was in high school. Um, uh -huh. Japan was my foreign language that I studied. Mm -hmm. I studied it for like six years in school. <laughs> but with any language, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's a muscle. It's yeah. a muscle. <laughs> it's like working out. But babe, where's like a place that maybe you'd be really curious, or you can give us a few places uh, either way, that you'd be really curious to, to check out with the African Tigris? Oh my goodness. Ooh, going with the African tigress. Um, this is super random. I've always wanted to go to Samoa. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah. Actually, it's not random because if you know Angela's history, she comes from Washington State yes. and she comes from Seattle, the suburbs of Seattle, which makes sense because that's on the west side. Yes, so a lot of Pacific Islander Yeah, a lot culture. of, yes, yes. Um, and I find, you know... Not far from Hawaii, for example, exactly. as opposed to me who's from the New York side, the East Coast, which is very far for us. That's so foreign, but okay, cool beans. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I would love to just jump in your suitcase and also explore the continent. I realize I have not visited enough African countries, so maybe, uh, Wanjira, that's that's on our to-do list. That's on our to-do list, baby. Yeah. I go. think we're going to take that off. We're going to find you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we definitely going to go. We're we going to talk to you nicely. Let me cut these. Let me cut these notes. After that random interview, now it's time to go out to going to Melanin. This is where Angie suggested we come to. It's karaoke night here at Melanin. Actually, in Kenya during the weekdays, um, nightlife is a bit different from what happens in the weekend. So it's up to you to decide what you want. Do you want karaoke or do you want some performances and all that? It varies from day to day and different clubs have different programs. So let's enjoy some nightlife karaoke here at Melarine. And of course we had 
to have one of us represent us so JR took to it and I can't put the actual sound because of the beat to avoid this video being copyrighted but I must say this was a very 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 beautiful night and obviously a great suggestion from Angie and a very beautiful karaoke let us check out another interesting place here in Nairobi
today it's all about doing my hair and my nails so i have to retouch my sister locks i don't even know if i'm going to get someone to be making my hair out there which is worrying and after that time to do my nails some pedicure and manicure here you know you have to stay fresh after doing my nails now it's time to meet and hang out with my sisters because rarely do we get an opportunity for all of us to meet because obviously i'm always out and about and when they send photos and videos of them meeting hanging out sometimes it makes me feel jealous anyway so let me enjoy this moment with them before i leave <laughs> So this is the next day last moments in nairobi so i'm um, heading to the airport i'm going to spend um some time in mombasa before i leave from mombasa out of the continent come with me and let's rush to the airport the flight is at 7 45 but um i want to get there early i hate last minute rush you know yeah let's go for a while and I don't know when I'm going to be back to Kenya so I had to visit all my favorite places before leaving so come let's go
I don't believe going somewhere empty handed. So I have all these things to take to people, some of the people who are in that country that I'm going to. So some need braids. They see it's very expensive over there. And then of course, Ugali, that's for Ugali. And this is Ajab, all peppers, flour, peanut, Kenyan peanut butter, lots of stuff here. All these, just not all these. The full sweet case, about 30 kgs, is going to be gifts for people. But I feel so sick, like very, very sick. I hope I'll get better. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Could you guess where I'm going to? Well, stay tuned for the next episode and don't forget to hit the like button and share this video because adventure is about to get real. Bye-bye.